Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little interesting. One of the most common questions that I get after people find out that I have a large following online is, oh, so you must get really crazy DMs. And I'm always like, yeah, you have no idea. But guess what? Today you get to have an idea. I really just wanted to read these to you guys. You could like get a kick out of them, honestly. Like it's so weird and so disturbing that it's kind of just funny almost because you're like, who just has the time to be doing this? Let's just jump right in. <laughs> So the first one just says you are so perfect. You're definitely a dream girl winky face. My wings are awful Want a snapchat. So With this DM, it's nice. I guess flattering if you're into that sort of thing My whole thing is though like the want a snapchat like what do you think I'm gonna say? Yes He he give you my snapchat and like I'm gonna send you nudes like that is the ideal situation and that would never happen so Just trying to figure out what you're trying to get from that. Yeah <laughs> As you could see, they DM'd me early in the morning. They said, hi. Normally I'm driving to work this early in the morning or I'm sleeping if it's a weekend. So like I would never be answering my DMs at this time anyway. And then like only a couple hours later, like not even a few days, not like a week, like a few hours later as if I live on my phone, DMs me again. You would not like to do a photo session for my hello. I'm really from Mexico, but I live in New York. I like to travel a lot. That's great. You said absolutely nothing about doing a photo shoot in your first DM. Second of all, you didn't even give me any time to respond. I mean, based off of this guy's DMs, I would never work with him anyway. Like he just is giving you red flags left and right. But I just thought this was like super weird and super unprofessional. And you guys need to be careful out there. Like don't just be working with people because they slap a label on themselves. Like I'm a photographer, I'm a model, like no get their website, talk to people that they've worked with, make sure they're not a murderer. Okay, so in the bio of my Instagram, I used to have DM to shoot with a little camera next to it. If you're a photographer, you will understand that means like a photo shoot. So I kept that in my bio for a little bit, but the DMs I was getting from it were like from creepy people who weren't even photographers saying, let's shoot. And I was like, no, let's not. So this is just like from back when I had that in my bio still. So this person says, it says DM to shoot, but what we shooting for? But I guess this is considered sliding into your DMs. But then again, why slide when I could steal your heart? Deep stuff. But hey, maybe if I steal your heart, I can replace it with mine. But if I do, that we get attached. And if we get attached, we move in. And moving in together leads to kids. And kids lead to wrinkles. And wrinkles lead to old age. This guy, just speaking the truth. <laughs> Shit, I didn't think this through before I committed to it. What? <laughs> like literally just what? I just, I have no response to this. I have nothing more to say than what. This DM was from a girl and I don't know if she's like a robot or what's good with this lady, but I don't know. She sent me this long, long DM and I never responded and I never will, but I was just like, what? Okay, so it says, hey girl, hope you're well. Thank you so much. Just wanted to quickly message you to talk about a life-changing opportunity. Did you get that? A life-changing opportunity. I Skype with a super rich guy from London slash Dubai. Wow, he already sounds super rich. I've been Skyping him for a few months, now making in the excess of $30,000 and more. Could you even imagine? Like, what the heck? Anyway, his offer is simple. He wants to Skype you, get to know you in return, to make ten dollars to $70,000 a month literally just Skyping. Oh my god, what an opportunity to sign me up. <laughs> If this interests you, just send him a message on Kick, and he will show you all the compelling video evidence. Just what I need. Yes, it's a lot to take in. Oh my god, I can't even digest it, honestly. This girl, she really understands. But I promise you will come back to thank me. I'm sure I will. All you need to do is kick him, see the video evidence, and if you ain't happy, just delete us. I never had you added, but thank you. He also has no issue getting one of his girls to make a video saying your name or holding up a sign because that's not creepy, right? His kick is blah, 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 blah. Full payment is sent after first Skype, and yes, a full payment is 10 to $70,000 is sent after first Skype. Then he trusts you to still Skype for the month. There's a lot of things wrong with this. First of all, Skyping's not like, hey, hey, hey. It's like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not about that life. So first of all, wrong girl to be messaging this bullshit to. Second of all, why in God's name are you doing get a job? Thanks, bye. This is always my favorite. Like I'm so happy that I had one of these in my recent DMs when people try and reach out to you and like try to get you to fly places. I'm not trying to be sold into the ring of prostitution. So even if the offer was totally legit, 
I would never like never in my life go on vacation with a random person like I don't even know what these people think that I'm about but anyway this guy is very enthusiastic let's see what he has to say hi Allison how are you nice way to start off a conversation hey I was wondering if you will be interested in a short vacation to Malaysia all expenses paid smiley face you can follow my IG to briefly know more about me and what I do looking forward to hearing from you smiley face so this is a nice offer honestly it's not creepy there's no winky faces involved that's that's a good sign but even, even if this was completely legit it would never happen it would never take place the offer's nice but i'm confused as to what he thought was going to happen i was going to be like hell yeah get me on the next flight let's go like mm, nah. next one says can i follow you home because my parents always told me to follow my dreams this one I just thought was corny, had to throw it in the mix, thought it was a good time, cute, lighthearted, you know. But no, you can't follow me home. You are 100% certified fun sized. Yes, guys, I am. This is probably the number one question I get next to my age, both which could easily be found in my profile if you just did a little digging, but I am five feet, so yes, I am fun sized. Next one, hello, dear, waving hand. I always hate that waving hand, like, get away from me. Would you like to have some fun with me? cash bag cash bag heart see this is just where it gets creepy i am not a prostitute i do not please people for cash so i don't understand why all these people are in my dms making it seem like i'm something that i am not hi there was wondering if you sell any of your used clothes i'm gonna go ahead and assume that this guy doesn't want to take my old items off my hands just so i could have a little bit of extra cash the way that play-doh's closet does this guy probably has some sort of a fetish or some sort of weird situation going on with him that I don't want to be involved in. So I know some people actually do give in to this and they will like sell their underwear and stuff online. I'm not that girl. I mean, the offer's nice, but again, don't know what he thought was going to happen out of this. I was going to be like, oh my God, absolutely. Send me your address. Let's make it happen. Like, no. This one was a comment. I just had to screenshot it because I knew I was making this video and I was like, people have no idea about all this crazy nonsense. So I just need to share it with you guys. This says, OMG miss. Ooh. You look so perfect, like always. You're literally the goddess of IG. I can't disagree. <laughs> ah, do you think maybe you could use a loser to get to Venmo slash send you my paycheck money so you could like spend it on literally anything you wish? The thing with this is, there's like a whole situation deep down in the creepy net you could find <laughs> people who are into this kind of thing and basically it's called like a pay pig if you want to do your research go ahead i mean this is like a nice offer but anytime that you go to dm these people it's like oh yeah sure send me money they always want something in return nothing in this life is for you guys just always remember that even if i were to dm this guy he'd be like okay send me pictures of like your tatas and i'd be like no Okay, this one probably is one of the most disturbing. I get these very often. It's very, very not nice. The thing with this is keep it to yourself. I don't need to know. Don't ask, don't tell, that kind of a thing. Like, you do you, I'll do me. Let's just, like, not talk about it, okay? Okay. So this one says, I know your photos are not intended for it, but sometimes they are so hot. And you can read the rest. But anyway... Next. Hey, you look amazing. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. You in Jersey? I mean, I am, but <laughs> if you're here, I'm gonna move out the state. Oh God, goodbye. Up for making a quick 3K? Again, not a prostitute. Not sure what he thought I was gonna say. Oh my God, yes. Let's get it popping. Like, are you trying to pay me for sex? Because I'm pretty sure that's illegal. And I got the receipts, so not a good move. Hey, you, me, uh? Let's role play. Obviously this is a typo, but again, I just don't understand what's running through people's minds. Like I am not going to answer you back and be like, oh my God, let's do that for sure. Like that's why I just wonder, has anyone ever had any success with this? Like if you have, I really need to know the details of that like interaction because I just can't imagine that you like DM someone this on Instagram and it just goes the way that you were planning for it to go. It's a little thing like on Instagram story where people could ask you questions on it. So this person like responded to that sticker with a question and I just had to screenshot this just so I could address this in a video, video evidence that this is never happening. Okay, okay. So he says, when do you plan to do nudes or porn? While this is a great question, 
I think the answer is pretty obvious if you just take a peek on my page because I'm not a fucking board star. Personally, I don't understand why I get these questions because I think if you literally just look at my page, it is so beyond, on, let's look at, let's look at my page, please. Let's actually take the time to look at my page just so we could understand what the hell is good. What part of this screams porn to you? Where? Who? When? What? No. I just don't get that from that. I'm sorry. Literally, if you go to any page that is like dedicated to that kind of shit, it doesn't look like that. It does not look like that. It doesn't look like that. It don't look that way. Nah. -uh. Just to address that question, <laughs> never. This one was another question on the sticker that I just thought was like weird but funny. It said, why with how beautiful you are that you were not married? Well, for starters, I'm 21 years old, so that might be part of the issue. <laughs> okay, these are my emails and I need to just specify that these are emails because I feel like the fact that they are in an email just makes it so much worse. So it says, hi, my name is blah, 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 blah. You're a beautiful woman, and I was wondering if you would like to get to know each other. The reason I have my email on my Instagram is so brands could reach out to me and collab with me, not so people could message me things like this. Next one. Hi, Allison. Oh my God, this is probably the weirdest one. This is the weirdest one. This is the moment you're all waiting for, the weirdest one. <laughs> Hi, Allison. I love your work. So weird just now. So I was watching a YouTube video my god, that's what you guys are doing right now of yours because I find you super hot. Thanks. But you were so good at modeling panties that it made me want to be in panties. Naturally, right? All of the sudden, I wanted to slip the same pair you had over my bubble butt and feel like a girl for a moment. What have you done to me? I'm out. This is when I throw my phone out the window. That's when I gotta go. Oh, we love a good email. Oh my God, here's another one. Hey, Allison, I know this might be a bit of a weird question. At least he, at least he knows. At least he's self-aware to ask. But if you would help me out, I will. Honestly, this one might be weirder. This one might be weirder. <laughs> but if you're willing to help me out, I'd be willing to pay you $500. It will take no more than probably 10 minutes at max. All right, so far sounds good, right? And I feel like you might be open to making some quick and easy money. All I'm asking you to do is have you fart for me and let me smell a couple of your farts. That is it. Nothing more. I will be willing to pay you $500 if you fart for me a couple of times. If there's any questions, please email me back. First of all, he was very thorough. How could I possibly have one question about that? Besides, why? Baby, do you sell your panties? Baby, I don't. So yeah, how you doing? I'm suave. Big fan since 2004. Let's just do some simple math right now, okay? If you minus the year I was born from 2004, you would understand that I would be seven. You were a fan of me since I was seven. I guess it's good to know that there's people who believe in your success even at a young age, but holy freaking, You are by far the L-O-M-L. -L. I love the internet, all these shortenings, amazing. That stands for love of my life, if you didn't know. The most perfect chick ever created on this earth. Thank you. Do people act normal with you, lol? Cause damn, bubbly butt, haha. -ha. My favorite part about all of this is the lol and the haha, -ha, because he really just seems to be laughing so hard and I really feel that with this message. You got that big old butt with those eyes, those side eyes. This one is just a perfect one to end on because it is really, really outrageous. So we see this slowly, slowly progress. We start on the 22nd. It goes, that's a damn shame. No way for girlfriend yet, but that's up. No idea where this message came from. No idea what he's talking about. Not, not really sure. But the no way for girlfriend yet could have changed because it is a message from 2017 and it is now 2018. But if it didn't, I wouldn't be surprised because of this next message. Next day, let's get drunk. Mind you, it's 3.34 p.m. I know it's five o'clock somewhere, but holy crap. Next, I eat that and give you a good, what, what? Okay, anyway, 
gotta go. So I hope that was somewhat entertaining for you guys. I tried to pull out really different ones so it wasn't like all the same thing over and over again. Even though my DMs are a little disturbing at times, I wouldn't trade that grossness for all the positives that I have gotten from the internet. But I just wanted to share those with you guys. Maybe so you could like hear what you're saying out loud if you have sent a message like this to somebody because I feel like people don't think about what they're saying before they send it and they feel like there's some sort of like anonymity on the internet just because like I'm probably never gonna meet you and I don't know who you are. But the truth of the matter is it's not really that anonymous because your profile is literally linked right to it. So I think it's very important to be mindful. That's what the lesson of today's video is. Be mindful of what we're sending on the internet. And also like just think about what is my end result? Is my end result realistic? Is it worth putting myself through this public shame to get my end result? If you think the answer is yes, then okay. But most people would be embarrassed if I were to screenshot this and put it on my story and not cross out their name because I have done that and my followers get very angry about this. They're like, Allison, oh my God, that is so unprofessional. How could you possibly feel the identity of these people? Oh my Lord. My personal viewpoint on all of this is if you're gonna send it, you should feel comfortable with everyone looking at it because quite frankly, you're gross and no one wants to read that. Thank you for your time and thank you for coming to my TED talk. I try to have a good attitude about this. I'm not like, oh my God, it's so gross. I just like laugh it off onto the next one. You can't be upset when you put your life on the internet because if you are, you won't have a life because you'll just spend it being miserable staring at comments. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my, <clears throat> Jesus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate your time. Don't forget to subscribe and don't send anyone creepy DMs, okay? Okay, bye.